take place in two phases. The latest survey on the state of the country's economy by Afrobarometer Network Organization Polster puts at 56% Kenyans who think the country's economic growth was headed south. According to the survey, majority of Kenyans say the government is performing poorly on job creation, keeping prices stable, and improving the living standards of the poor. The survey conducted between August and September sampled 2,400 participants. The only to, uh, way to address corruption in Kenya is if we wipe out the entire population and perhaps bring a new population that has not been involved. So it is a problem. There have been efforts to address it, but perhaps it is not yielding the results that a common person, Wanjiko, as we call them, are expecting on the ground. Mm. Elsewhere, principal assistant to the Inspector General of Police, Julius Kanampio, has urged the youth to employ art and talent in combating violent extremism. Speaking in Nairobi, Kanampio said young Kenyans are more likely to be brainwashed by radical groups and that it is high time for them to focus on meaningful activities. The misery surrounding the death of a 46-year-old man who in the year hours of last Saturday drove his car into the deep waters of Likoni Channel has taken a fresh twist after his family in Kitui claimed he might have committed suicide due to troubled marriage. Speaking to the press at their home in Kananyika village, Kitui Central, John Mutinda Skin claimed the deceased marriage has been in turmoil for years. Na nimekuwa na mawasiliano mengi, hata na my aunt, Ruth Mweni, kusu usiano wao na nkoli yangu. Na ni mara nyingi sana tukiongea na namwambia akuwe mpole kwa nko. Sisi kama familia tunataka kurefute ile maneno tunasikia bibi yake anaongea kwamba uncle alikuwa na wazimu. Uncle alikuwa na sound mind. Na kulingana na ugomvi ule umekuwa baina yao. Sisi kama familia tunajua walikuwa na ugomvi mkubwa. And a teacher in Tibuani Baptist Primary School in Likoni Sub-County, Mombasa County, has in the meanwhile been arraigned in Mombasa Court on allegations of defiling a class 8 pupil in his house. Daniel Opondo denied the molestation charges and was denied cash bail. Mombasa resident magistrate instead gave him a 2,000 shillings bond and a surety of a similar amount. The case will be mentioned on December 30th. In another development, police in Nakuru County have arraigned a renowned clergy in Subukia in Anakuru court for allegedly conspiring with others to falsify documents of a parcel of land in Subukia constituency. The accused Bishop Philip Njoroge of Jesus Exhalation Center in Subukia denied all the 11 counts of fraud leveled against him. Finally, residents of Garissa County are now urging the national government to stop the ongoing security screening, claiming it has been turned into an extortion by security officers. Speaking during a one-day security workshop, they claim the purpose of the screening was aimed at enhancing security, but now has been interned into a cash cow for security officers.